Hey, it's Monday. Uh, happy Monday. I guess this is where I'll start the video. Those who smile the most are the ones that are the most lonely. Why cannot we? Why can we just not? Okay. Last time. Let me get this. Okay. They say that those who smile the most are the ones that are the most lonely. Why can we just not smile? Why can we? Why can we not just fuck? Okay. They say that those who smile the most are the ones that are the most lonely. Why can't we not just smile? Why must there be an underlying reason to us why we shine so brightly? Can we not smile because we are happy? That we are not alone? We have finally found people who love and care for us for what we are rather than what we have, when no others would. They say that those who laugh the loudest are the ones that are dying on the inside. Can we not laugh just because we are happy? As to now, we do not have this crippling fear in our hearts, paranoia of an abandonment, because we have finally found where we belong. Why must we ponder these thoughts, these feelings, as now our silver lining could slip from our fingers? Never writing poetry. Haven't done this since like sixth grade. No, eighth grade. I need practice. Well, can't wait to see Katie's video on Wednesday. Mo's video on Friday, and then if you want to continue with the poetry, we can totally do that. I mean, I like reading it, not so much producing it, but this is actually a good topic we have going, and I would like to delve further into it if we may. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. Now, what I'm going to challenge Mo to do after we've done our own poetry and if you want to break down poetry you're going to be the one to choose the next set of things we're going to talk about whether it be the cyborg anthropology you had mentioned we can do short stories uh, political things that are going on in our world right now uh, or movements that are trying to get done we can talk about the educated my mom and i have been watching a lot of vegan slash vegetarian documentaries recently and just trying to eat better the health and wellness of teens and young adults in our generation or the advent the growth in technology which is dumbing our future even more but anyways i challenge mo to choose the next topic we talk about after our long in-depth discussion about poetry so that's my challenge to you see you guys next week